So hello and welcome to my little behind the scenes video. Let's just give you a brief look at what was going on whilst I was making the Lego Kraken. Uh, so this is my studio. Bit of a mess as you can see, but it is our attic. The actual studio itself consists of basically just a table with a sheet on top of it. The sheet being the water of course. The backdrop, the sky, was just held up with push pins, uh, pushing to the beams of the attic roof. Uh, it's a pretty simple. All the Lego I use is indeed sorted, at least most of it is. Each tray contains different types of pieces, uh, which really helps when you need to build things on the go. It does get really hot in the attic during the summer, so I do have to have the windows open. Uh, and I get quite a nice view. Uh, not that I get to see it most of the time, but there it is anyway. Also, I, I ended up buying off eBay the biggest fan I could possibly find, uh, which really helps keep me cool. My little brother, Jacob, builds the set. Uh, so there's an example of uh, the interior of the boat. Uh, as for the actual Kraken, um, I designed the arms myself. Uh, this is me converting one of my prototypes into a actual leg to be used in the film. All the pieces you can see there in the little plastic bags were bought from Bricklink.com. They're not a sponsor, but I do recommend them. They're really good for getting lots of Lego pieces you need cheaply. Anyway, so here I am finishing off one of the tentacles for the Kraken. Here's all eight done, and you can see the little boat in the corner there. All the boats were designed by my little brother, he did a fantastic job. Anyway, so here I am. Before I start filming, I will configure the camera, get everything set up, position everything the way I want it. Usually I'll briefly check my storyboard. So when I'm filming, what I'll do is I'll take whichever element of the shot will be moving off the scene, as you can see here, so in this case it's the pirate figure. I will move him just ever so slightly the way I need to for the shot and very carefully put him back. Then I will compare the previous shot and just maybe adjust the set in case anything's moved which shouldn't have. And then I press this little button here and take the shot. Um, so, you know, a usual shot I reckon would have in the hundreds of frames. So I'll just go and repeat this hundreds of times over and I've got the scene. Here you can see how I used some bricks to support the arms. Whilst animating the arms, I'd add in bricks to make them go up and down and things. I always listen to some form of music whilst animating and uh, sometimes I listen to cassettes. So here's a little look at what it's like when I'm animating. So with the editing, basically I've got to string all the images together, uh, make sure it's paced properly, and add in tons of sound effects. And of course I've got to make sure the music fits and is edited together properly. I think for the cracking video it took me a month to edit the entire thing until I was happy with it. So that basically is how I make my videos. Uh, if you want to see the finished product, uh, just click this annotation here, that will take you through to watch the Lego Kraken. 
Uh, and if you click on the annotation to the right of that one, hopefully that will soon take you to my newest video, which will hopefully come out summer 2016. So watch this space for that. I recommend subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on that one. And well, I hope you've learned something today. Um, I hope you learned that you can make videos without too much budget. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> See ya.